G'day, this is the Inner Chief Podcast, episode 151 for Minisode Monday, and our topic today is Finish the Decade Strong. I'm your host, Craig Layton, and I believe that if you want more clarity, confidence, and influence at work, and ultimately to get your dream job faster, then learning from the masters coupled with consistent personal growth is instrumental. Every Thursday, I'll bring you a deep diving interview with a CEO or guru that reveals their inner secrets to success. And every Monday, I post a short, sharp mini-sode with the best advice I can muster to help you achieve your career and life goals. This is about becoming your greatest self and revealing to the world your true inner chief. Now, chief, if you're yet to rate the episode and subscribe, I hope you'll do so soon. It helps others see the magnificent value that the chiefs and gurus on the show bring to their life and career. So make sure you hit subscribe on your podcast app now, give it a five-star rating if you think it's worthy, and leave a short review about your favourite episode. Righto, Chiefs. In today's mini-sode and YouTube video, what we're going to cover is how to finish the decade strong. We'll discuss why you still have time to change some habits and finish 2019 strong and the three areas of your life you can work on right now that will set you up for 2020 with a bang. Remember, you can watch this video on YouTube. Just head to chiefmaker.com forward slash YouTube. Or if you want to check out the show notes, which are there in detail, just go to chiefmaker.com forward slash 151. Righto, Chief. Let's dive into this week's topic. G'day, Chief Greg here from Chief Maker. We've got a big week this week. We're going to talk all about how to finish the decade strong. You know, the, the crazy thing for me is that uh, somehow we're through another decade. You know, we're about to hit the 20s, and if they go as fast as the last 10 years, then I better get my ducks in a row because it just goes so quick, and the little opportunities get missed, and you just don't want to be in a place another 10 years from now with a bit of regret that you didn't do the things that maybe you should have, you know took the opportunity, you should have said the thing, you should have, you know, at the end of our careers, end of our lives, the one thing we want more than anything is that feeling that we left it all out on the field, we really had a go at it. Over the next three weeks, we're going to cover this next decade in particular, but before we get to the next one, we've got to finish this one, and I want us to finish strong. I want us to feel like as we get to Christmas, to the new year, that we've really given it our all. So let's just think about that for a minute. I used to have this ultra marathon coach, absolutely brilliant, and he told me that at the end of every long run, and I used to go for um, a run every Saturday and Sunday in peak training, and it was 40Ks both days. So you can imagine that by the end of the Sunday, you're feeling absolutely zonked. But he always said to me, no matter how hard the run is, make sure that the last 100 metres, the last 200 metres, you get up tall in your stride, you feel light, you run to the finish line, you almost run through the tape as if there was tape at the end of the training session. And he goes, that's the thing, you want to be almost striding strongly at the end of it because it makes you feel like the rest of the run was actually a little bit easy and you feel like you've actually done something. That's going to be our little philosophy today. Let's finish the next month strong. Next week, we're going to talk all about making decisions about whether you should stay or go from a role. A lot of us are going to be getting into this end of our, the end of the decade wondering if we're on the right track. I'm going to lay out a bit of a framework to help you work out should you stay or should you go. And then the week after that, we're going to start a whole visioning process and a dreaming process for the next decade. And I really want you to go through that over the Christmas break to really get into 2020 off out of the guns and ready to go. Okay, let's talk about finishing the decade strong. Okay, there are three things that we really can change pretty quickly in the space of about a month. Relationships, health, and career. Now, I'm not saying you can solve these things, but what I am saying is you can make moves immediately to improve each of these things. So I just want to focus on relationships, health, and growth. What can you do in your key relationships at home, at work? And I want you to consider relationships that maybe aren't as good as they should be and ask yourself, okay, if ownership always precedes victory, 
and I've let some relationships slip and maybe I've maybe I've maybe taken too much high ground and not forgiven people not been kind enough along the way what is something I can do in the next month to improve that relationship significantly now that might be to forgive it might be to try and do something to heal it might be to speak from the heart It might be to do something special and give someone a treat, give them an experience, take them out, spend time with them. These are relationships that perhaps you've dropped the ball on or you might even find that there's a relationship there that even though you've tried your hardest, the other person has not been forthcoming. And you're happy because, we're not happy, you haven't reinvested because you don't think they deserve it. I think we've all been there before. And this is an opportunity at the end of the decade to say to yourself, well, Maybe I can give it one more go. Do something totally different. Make them know how you truly feel. One relationship at least to finish strong at the end of the decade. Two, your health. This year in particular, I've spent a lot more time on ensuring that my health is number one. I really think that if my health is not in the best possible place, it affects my family, certainly affects my career. I spent a lot more time on that this year and now I'm getting ready to do something in the new year to really give myself a shot in the arm from my fitness perspective. And this is what I want you to do is to consider your health and fitness and ask yourself, okay, how do I finish the year strong? Now, there's a few ways that you can do this. Like the one thing I'm just doing is I'm signing up for a a run in the mountains, which is happening in April 2020. And the fact that I've signed up for that run means I'm going to have to really get my ass in the gear and start doing some serious training on some hills. It's a really difficult 10k mountain trail run with, I think, over a thousand meters of elevation and under 10k. So it's going to be a really brutal run. It's going to push me into some new territory. I want you to do a bit of an audit now of your own health and fitness. Maybe it's weight. Maybe it's muscle tone. Maybe it's just general energy. Maybe it's diet. And for the next month, make a commitment to finish the year strong on that, to make some change, some habit change. It only takes 30 days to change a habit. And if you're going to change a habit right now over the Christmas period with your health, then there is no better way of doing it. Because if you can do it then, you can do it at any time of the year. So that's two. Let's get your health. Finish the year strong. Finish the decade strong on your health. And then the last one is your career. Are you happy with it? Are you 50-50? Are you 0 out of 10? Whatever it is, let's think about some ways to boost your career right now. I'm going to give you a couple of tips. If your network is not working for you, right? if it's just not happening, start your own mastermind. Call up half a dozen friends, half a dozen colleagues who you trust, whose advice you'd be happy to seek counsel on to, to advise you on your career and set up a monthly meeting in the new year. This is free. It just costs you a little bit of time to turn up every month, be ready to give and help others and ask for help in return. Okay? Find some people that you absolutely trust and want their counsel. Set up a meeting before Christmas. Okay? So that, and then you do, and all you need to do is say, I want to form a mastermind going forward. This is an initial discovery session to see if this would be a good fit for each of us. Uh, No obligation. Come along, let's have a nice lunch or breakfast, whatever suits your schedule, and make it happen. Okay, so get your network working. Next one, your development, your growth. If there is one thing that is absolutely true in relation to your development, is that if you leave it up to the organization you work for to give all the development you need and want in your life, you will be waiting forever. You have to take ownership of your development if you want to achieve your career dreams. Some organizations are magnificent and go above and beyond, but the honest truth is they don't have the money, they don't have the resources to do that for everyone. They'd love to do more, right? They just can't. So you have to take ownership of that, and I want you to think about what you can do, what course you can sign up for, what qualification well, even if you don't have the money to do it, not that podcast books, get yourself into a rhythm of learning again so you can grow. And then the last one is, you've heard me talk a lot about getting a track record. Creating wow stories is what Jonathan Ling would call them. And he was a great CEO. He's had a magnificent career. What can you do in the next month 
to sign up through the organization you work for to seek an opportunity. Get onto a project team, get onto a committee, do something that is above and beyond to put a rocket back in your career. Because if you don't show that you can do more, if you don't show that you can get a track record and not leave a trail of destruction, guess what? The opportunities might keep coming your way. So try and get yourself into an opportunity. Ask your boss for more work. Ask for colleagues for more work. Find a way to get in front on your track record. Now, look, there's three things, right, that we can finish the decade strong on, okay? So let's do relationships, health, and career. Any one of those are ideas or come up with your own so you can really finish the decade strong. Righto, Chief. It's been an absolute pleasure. Keep an eye out for the ne- in the next week or two as we talk all about should you stay or should you go, career visioning process. Remember, if you want to jump onto the Chief Maker Academy, that is one way you can invest in yourself. I've given you a code to do career game plan. That's legacy. If you type in the word legacy on chiefmakeracademy.com, you'll get a $200 voucher on any course you like. Righto, Chief. It's an absolute pleasure as always. You can check this out online as well at chiefmaker.com forward slash 151. As always, remember to stay epic.